So today we received a brand new trailer and new information for Red Dead Online's next DLC called Blood Money. And in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts on everything that was mentioned today. So the trailer, they actually took a very different approach to what I was expecting. I was expecting some really high octane action for, you know, robberies, but it was actually calm and more story driven. The newswire though is what really gives us some juicy information. It's kind of a long read, so I'm going to do my best to paraphrase it for you guys. Basically, we're going to be working for Guido Martelli, seeking for the very valuable matter called Capital. And if you can recover it for him, it'll open up new criminal opportunities. And a very important note to take away from this is that it requires no upfront cost to do any of this, which means progression is most likely not going to be tied to a role where you have to buy in to do it, but more so in line with missions. Or maybe the Capital is some sort of currency, and the more we bring into him, the more progression we get through, and the more criminal opportunities we have for ourselves. The new type of work is called Crimes, who could have guessed, and they'll range from stagecoach holdups to multi-stage robberies like kidnapping, brutal debt collections, and more. And these can be done solo or with a full posse. And during the mission, you'll have to keep an eye out for signs of Capital to collect and return to Guido Martelli. And while you travel about in free mode, you may come across unlocked homesteads and vulnerable camps with capital stash waiting to be taken. This absolutely sounds like some sort of free mode interaction, much like the moonshiner checkpoints and the random bounties. It's just something that probably appears on your map as you go by, like a red circle appears or something. Accumulating enough capital for Guido will unlock opportunities which involve a scheme to stifle a Lemoyne senator disrupting operations. Each one will have various approaches, and by listening to nearby conversations and exploring the surrounding area, you could find new ways to complete the mission. The first opportunity will arrive on July 13th, and the other two will be drip-fed later on. And when I saw the listening in on conversations to find new ways to complete the mission, I instantly thought of the Hitman games because you do exactly that. You explore the area looking for new ways to complete the mission, so hopefully that means these are very replayable just like the Hitman missions are. The Outlaw Pass is coming back with a brand new name called the Quick Draw Club. These are going to be a series of four smaller but shorter lasting passes that will essentially arrive each consecutive month after the update's launch. Each one will have bonuses and rewards much like we already have with the current passes. The first one will get you Dutch's outfit, which I would assume you get for completing it. And with each consecutive pass you purchase, you'll get additional rewards for continuing the journey. They will each cost 25 gold bars, but you will make that back by the end of each Quick Draw Pass. And if you purchase all four passes, you will get Halloween Pass 2 completely for free. So essentially what they're doing is instead of having one big rank 100 pass that will last for months until the next update, they're doing four small 25 rank passes that each last a month long. And the reason they're doing this is probably to increase player retention and bring players back to the game every month because I know a lot of people complete the pass in just a few days and then they're just done with the game until the next one or whatever the next update comes out. With this way though, you have to keep coming back every single month to get all the rewards. I'm not sure if they're going to increase the amount of XP needed to level up the pass. I kind of hope not, considering you only have one month to complete them. I really don't want it to feel like Call of Duty where I feel like I absolutely have to play the game like every single day if I want to complete the pass on time. For some good news, the skill and satchel pamphlets that were originally only available via the Outlaw Pass will now be purchasable at the fence, so things like fast traveling from wilderness camps, and I would assume the increased ammo capacity, you'll just be able to buy those now, which is a very good change, it felt really scummy for those just to be locked behind an Outlaw Pass when they do affect your gameplay. They will also be bringing in some clothing from previous Outlaw Passes for those who didn't get a chance to obtain them before, and if I had to take a guess, these are going to be costing gold and not cash. And lastly, PC players will be able to take advantage of NVIDIA DLSS to help improve frame rates while playing at particularly high resolutions. So that's all the information that we got so far. As for my thoughts on this update, I'm excited to play it, but I'm still very skeptical at the same time because it sounds like it's just going to be more missions and then some free mode encounters. It doesn't sound like we're actually going to be able to go to a place and just start a robbery in free mode like I've always wanted to do with this game. But maybe this is the beginning of that since this is kind of the introduction to the criminal world. Another very big thing that I'm worried about is it doesn't look like there's going to be much to buy with our money in this update. Unless they have much more to showcase, things like new clothing, new weapons, we don't seem to be getting anything on those fronts. And since this most likely isn't a new role, there's probably not going to be anything like roll unlocks or something similar to roll unlocks, which is what usually brought in new content for us to buy. And I'm more referring to things that are outside of the quick draw club, I'm talking about things we can purchase at the stores when the update drops. That's the one thing I feel that's always missing for the Red Dead Online updates, just a lack of quality things to spend our money on. You know, in GTA updates, we not only get new gameplay content, but we get a bunch of brand new stuff to buy too. And that's what makes the update feel complete, in my opinion. 
I hope I'm wrong though, but that's just the vibe I'm getting so far after seeing this and reading the newswire. But I am still excited for this update. In fact, I would say I'm more excited for this than it was the Naturalist update, just because this actually feels like we're doing outlaw-related things. Let me know what you guys think about this update in the comment section. Are you skeptical as well, and why? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP-related content. Huge thank you to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.